Some of the most mysterious places you can find on the planet are shipwrecks. Yeah. Entire crews of people just going missing yeah. out of nowhere. Uh, and some have yet to be found, but some have been discovered. And we are going to talk. Are we talking about both? Yeah. About both. I'm talking about both. We're going to do it all. Let's get into it. Starting off our list today, we have the SS Kamloops, which comes equipped with ghosts and a real live floating corpse. Going by the nickname Old Whitey, the corpse is that of a crewman who worked on the vessel back in the 1920s. On December 6th of 1927, in the middle of a violent storm, the Kamloops was last seen afloat, coated in a thick sheet of ice. When the ship went down, some crew members managed to escape and make their way back to the shores of Isle Royale, but they died shortly after due to either hypothermia or wolf attack. Those who were unable to escape the ship went down into the depths of Lake Superior. Due to the cold temperatures of the water and the fact that there is relatively minimal marine life hanging out at the bottom of the lake, much of what sank in the ship remained with it. Leather shoes, clothing, jewelry, and of course, old whitey. Many divers who have visited the wreck have even reported the preserved corpse following them around the ship as though it were alive, and in some instances, divers have said that it even reached out and touched them while they were passing through the interior of the vessel. Uh, it's a pretty creepy sight to see. The body is so far gone, it's almost translucent. Uh, and I think if you touched it, it would kind of just turn to powder. But it's there, so if you're an experienced diver, feel free to check it out and let me know how it goes. Next up, we have what might be one of the creepiest seafaring tales that I've ever heard, honestly the tale of the SS. Orang Medan. Now, it's debated as to exactly what year this took place, but it was at some point in the 40s, anywhere between 1940 and 1948. The story goes that a couple of American ships sailing through the Straits of Malacca picked up distress signals from a Dutch merchant ship called the Orang Medan. The distress messages were pretty chilling, to say the least. The radio operator on the ship sent out an SOS in Morse code that read, We float. All officers, including the captain, dead in chart room and on the bridge. Probably whole of crew dead. The last message simply said, I die. When the crew of one of the American ships, the Silver Star, reached the Orang Medan to help, they found dead bodies everywhere. And the creepiest part, every single corpse's face was stuck in this terrified expression, staring up at the sky with open mouths and wide eyes. Even stranger, there were no signs of injuries on the bodies. As the rescuers were trying to figure out what to do next, maybe even like tow the ship to port, a fire suddenly broke out in the cargo hold. The fire forced the rescue crew to leave the ship in a hurry, and shortly after they evacuated, the ship exploded and sank, taking whatever secrets it had down with it. Next up, we have the Salem Express, which some consider to be the most haunted shipwreck in the world. I mean, Salem's in the name, so I already buy it. In 1991, the ferry became stuck on a reef while making its way through the open ocean near Egypt. In 10 minutes, the entire ship was underwater and it dragged 470 passengers to their deaths. The locals of Egypt refused to dive the wreck, believing that it is not only incredibly haunted, but also protected by Jins, invisible spirits from another world capable of causing physical and mental harm to humans. One scuba diver who goes by the name of Scuba Dan decided to brave the wreck, diving down 45 meters into the waters off Egypt. While on board, he saw abandoned cargo, clothing, and bags of toys. At one point, he found an air pocket on the ship and he decided to poke his head up. When he does this, the sounds of demonic moans can be heard, and throughout the entire dive, he said it felt as though he was being followed. It was super creepy. I probably wouldn't recommend visiting this one, but uh, if you do, you know what to do. Here's a more contemporary one, the ghost yacht. This is a, a very creepy story. I mean, centuries old shipwrecks are creepy as well, but stories from the distant past can often be embellished, a bit like a game of broken telephone. This case happened in 2007 though. So on April 15th of 2007, three men set sail from Arley Beach in Queensland, Australia on a catamaran called the Kaz 2. They were just going for a cruise. On April 18th, the catamaran was spotted drifting near the Great Barrier Reef by a helicopter. Rescue teams were dispatched, and they found the yacht in good condition, but 
eerily empty. The engine was still running, a laptop was open, and a meal had been made, but was untouched. There were no signals of a struggle either. Authorities launched an investigation to figure out what happened to the crew. The last known footage of them, taken by a marina's security camera, showed nothing unusual. The final moments on the yacht are still a complete mystery. Maybe one of the men fell overboard and the others drowned trying to save him. Some have even speculated a freak wave could have swept the men overboard or that they were kidnapped by pirates. But Till this day, we still really don't know. I like the idea of a wave sweeping over and leaving the meal untouched. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen, you know? Yeah. Totally. Next on the list, we have the RMS Roan, a 94 meter Royal Mail ship that sunk just off the coast of Salt Island in 1867 in the British Virgin Islands after a massive wave knocked the captain overboard to his death. And then strong winds caused the vessel to crash into a set of jagged rocks, which then caused damage to the boiler room, which caused an explosion, which caused the vessel to be torn in half. Rough day at sea. Only 28 members of the 146 man crew survived. Since the incident, the wreck has actually become one of the most popular diving spots in the world, which makes sense. The waters of the BVIs are literally stunning. Those who decide to explore the vessel will be met with beautifully clear waters, a variety of marine life, a variety of artifacts and also ghosts. The most haunted place on the ship is the hull, where the majority of the passengers were rumored to be while the boat sank. Divers have reported hearing groans and screams while exploring this area, as well as having their shoulders touched, despite having no one near them at the time. And many divers have claimed that while ascending back to the surface, they have seen people frantically swimming after them below, desperate for air. But when the divers go back down to help, all of a sudden these swimmers disappear disappear into thin air, or water, I guess. Next up, we have the eerie discovery of the Octavius. So this three-masted schooner had left England in 1761 on a journey somewhere to the east. Now, they managed to reach their destination, but on their return journey in 1762, they decided to take a chance sailing through the Northwest Passage. Now, 13 years later, the crew of a whaling ship named the Herald, happened across a seemingly abandoned ship, drifting through the water just west of Greenland. The five-man crew boarded the vessel. At first, they thought nobody was aboard. It wasn't until they reached the lower decks, though, that they discovered the remains of the crew who had been floating aimlessly for over a decade. The harsh cold had frozen their bodies solid, making them pretty well preserved, and the captain was found sitting at his desk. His pen was actually still in his hand. He'd just written, well, had written 13 years ago, his final log in November of 1762. Next up, we have the Mars, a Swedish warship that in its heyday would have been the biggest, most powerful vessel in the world. It ran and sank in the 1500s, after which its location remained unknown for more than 500 years. When the vessel set sail, it did so with a variety of advanced weapons on board, including cannons created by the melted remains of seized church bells, which had been taken by Eric XIV in an effort to reduce the strength of the church. Because of this sacrilegious act, the ship was deemed cursed, and when it sank 10 years later, in 1564, off of the coast of a Swedish island during a battle with the Danish forces, the curse proved to be true, I guess. The vessel went up in flames, taking around 900 soldiers with it, along with a bounty of gold and silver coins. For the next 500 years, it was believed that a ghost would continuously rise from the ship's watery grave in order to prevent its discovery. But it appears that even ghosts are no match for modern technology because in 2011, it was found. And it became a pretty popular dive spot too, with divers who snuck pieces of the wreck back up to the surface, reporting that they could still smell the charred odor coming from the burnt wood. Don't do that, by the way. Uh, do not take things from dive sites. It's not a good idea. One of the most mysterious maritime cases is the disappearance of the entire crew of the MV Joyata. The MV Joyata was a fishing and charter boat that disappeared in the South Pacific in 1955. It was on its way from Apia, Samoa to the Tokla Islands, a trip that was supposed to take about two days. Now on board were 25 people, including experienced crew 
and passengers. The boat was discovered about five weeks after it had been reported missing and was drifting way off its planned route. There was no one on board. The boat was partially submerged and in really bad shape. Now, several things about the discovery made the whole situation even more mysterious. For one, the Joyata was found partially submerged, but it was actually built to be unsinkable, even with a full hold of water. It was a mystery how it got in such bad condition and why the crew would have left the ship knowing that it was unsinkable. None of the lifeboats were on the ship, which again means the people tried to escape, but none of them were ever found and the cargo was missing, which definitely means piracy could have played a role, but the mystery has never been 100% solved. Next up, the German Wilhelm Gustloff, which sank in January of 1945 during World War II after being struck by a torpedo fired from a Soviet Navy submarine. The incident went down in history as being the deadliest isolated maritime disaster ever, with a record loss of an estimated 9,400 individuals, most of which would have been refugees. The vessel was originally designed to be a cruise ship, but it was repurposed for military use during the war. It was overcrowded when it sank, and so it went down fast. For years, both Germany and Russia downplayed the incident, but eventually the truth came out and the site was classified as a war grave. Based on my research, the area is prohibited, meaning that you can't actually dive there legally, but there have been cases in which divers have been given special permission to explore. Those who have gone down into the watery grave have come back with stories of feeling stripped of everything associated with humanity. It appears the energy of the deceased who passed during a tragic time in an incredibly tragic way is unavoidable. And finally we have the Ellen Austin. Back in 1881, the schooner Ellen Austin set sail, cruising through the Atlantic near the Bermuda Triangle. The crew then spots another ship just floating there, a ghost ship without a crew. Captain Griffin and a small team boarded the ship to look around. There was precious cargo on board, but no crew anywhere to be found. There were also no signs of a struggle. Being a good Samaritan, or maybe just curious was he, Griffin decided to tow this abandoned ship back to port. So tie a rope they did, they start the tow, and everything seems fine until out of the blue, a thick fog rolls in. And when the fog clears, the ghost ship be gone, vanished into thin air. So the captain decides to shake it off and continue on their hardy way, but a few days later, the same ghost ship be back. So they decide to give it another shot. They tie the ships together, and once again, the mysterious fog rolls in. When it lifts, the ghost ship gone again. Was the Ellen Austin caught in some bizarre mirage, or was the crew really caught up in a nautical game of hide and seek with a ghost ship? Let us know down in the comments. Ye hardy seamen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sailing the seas of YouTube with us today on this spooky, spectacular episode of Most Amazing Top 10. Yeah, um, are you ready for another one? Let us know down in the comments. We'll give you a part two. We might do that. <laughs>